Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's lecture video, we are going to discuss about the different routes of drug administration with their introduction, advantage, disadvantage or we can say their limitation. Trust me, this is one of the most important topic of your pharmacology syllabus. Whether you are a pharmacy student or medical student, this topic is going to help you in your main exam as well as in different competition exam. So let me start first, what is the meaning of route of drug administration? If we try to split this sentence into consecutive meaningful word, we will have three words. That first one is root, second one is drug and third one is administration. I have already explained the meaning of drug. So let me explain you the meaning of root. In Hindi, this is called rasta from which we used to walk in general case. But if you convert it into pharmacology respectively, then the root means a path or way by which any drug of your interest will reach to your blood which reach to the systemic circulation so that it may produce a desirable effect i can say desirable but it is not actually correct that will produce its pharmacological effect and pharmacological effect include both desirable and undesirable because there are no any single drug which will be 100 percent safe that will give at least one percent unwanted effect that is why it is better to say pharmacological effect and that of meaning of administration is same to take it out so the complete meaning of this sentence is the path or the way by which we introduce any medicine of any doses form so that that drug may produce desirable effect so that you will get better as compared to the ill conditions or severe severe and unwanted conditions that is actually root of drug administration we have taken so many drugs in our life like we have taken tablet and the tablet goes through oral route of drug administration we have taken injection either on the deltoid muscle that is intramuscular route or we have taken the injection via veins we have applied so many cream either it is a beauty cream or some antiseptic cream on over the skin that is called topical route of drug administration likewise we have taken wicks inhaler from the inhalation route that is called inhalation route of drug administration we have chewed some tablet like limsi that is a vitamin c tablet nowadays you had uses it so that is called shakable tablet or some tablet we have not used most of the case that is given below the tongue that's called sublingual tablet dose of lingual doses form so likewise there are so many other different route of drug administration and that different route of admission is our interest of topic for today's lecture but have you ever think why these there are so many root of drug admission what are their basic advantage and what are the basic limitation that is why we have introduced other root of drug administration to overcome that problem or that limitation of any particular doses form so in today's video we are going to discuss about those factors which affect the selection of different root of drug administration this is one of the lengthiest topic ever in pharmacology so let me start with the selection parameter to give any drug why it's suitable route of admission that depend upon mainly two factor first factor is drug related factor and the second one is patient related factor now what are these factor drug related factor means what is the state of particular drug as that drug is solid liquid or it is in available in cream form or it is available in the gases form is that drug is irritative if we take it orally or any other properties of drug so all those property of drug which affect the selection criteria is simply placed under the criteria of drug related factor and the second one is patient related factor you will be thinking why the patient is important to select any drug for its proper route of drug administration. Suppose I am in conscious state. I can swallow a tablet. I will allow anyone to give me injection. I will respond to every each and every route of drug administration. But suppose I am in unconscious state, then how will I swallow the tablet? If I am continuously vomiting it out, then how the tablet which is taken by oral route of drug administration will be work because that tablet after some time get eliminated from my stomach. Then there are so many other factors like age, body weight, genetic patient, adult patient, or pediatric patient, or conscious, unconscious, sophisticated, allergic patient, particular drug, particular route. So there are so many factors. Now let me discuss about those factors one by one. First of all, I would like to explain the physical and chemical property of drug. What is the meaning of physical and chemical property of drug? Physical property means 
the different forms of any matter like you have studied in 10th or 12th class solid liquid and gas i have so many examples like this is solid example this is doses form of solid doses form should i apply this tablet over the skin no should i administer this tablet via my vein it is possible no it is not possible this is only applicable most of the case by oral route of drug administration so solid doses form allowed me to take it orally this is liquid doses form i can take it by many route either i can swallow it either i can mix in a water and drink it either i can apply it so this liquid doses form according to the drug to drug may allow me to select different route of drug administration now this one is topical this is called jhaldu balm or as a painkiller balm so is this tablet no is this injection no this is cream so i should apply it over the affected part over my forehead or any other part where ache is going on so this form of any drug allow me to select proper drug proper drug doses form proper route of drug administration and what is the meaning of chemical nature is that drug is corrosive is that drug irritating or this that drug is producing some kind of unwanted effect via that particular route of drug administration what will happen if i take this balm orally this will cause so many irritation on my mouth if apply that balm on a dedicated part that will completely spill the burning sensation so there are some limitation which affect the criteria for selection of route of drug administration so let's example solid liquid gas and different kind of drug parameter like solubility stability ph and irritability let me explain you basic point regarding solid doses form i have some demos to show you better this is a tablet gelosyl tablet it is example of solid doses form as you can see this is solid doses form so what will happen this solid doses form if i swallowed it just for, for for some time please consider this beaker as a stomach and water as a different constituent in, inside my stomach so i place this tablet into the stomach so as you can see this is as it is as look like but allow me for some time after some time this tablet will go for disintegration then this tablet will completely disappear it will take time so i will try to show you in between the lecture but if it is not possible allow me to show you the next time so this tablet goes for disintegration dissolution and then only it will go for absorption but on other hand i have syrup this is syrup is a cup syrup i will not show you the brand name actually right now so if i take this syrup and this syrup goes to the stomach and this will completely dissolve right now there is no need to disintegration or dissolution so this will completely absorb faster as compared to oral doses form so oral doses form that is solid that will take time to disintegrate and dissolve and to produce effect but likewise the liquid doses form it will not take time for disintegration and dissolution so that forms of drug will affect the correct criteria for selection of doses form or root of drug admission now see there are some effervescence going on this is slightly so this will take time but in case of solvent or solution this is exactly already dissolved so this is a basic difference it will produce its action right now it will start producing its effect just after going through the stomach it will take time to disintegrate to dissolve and then it will act accordingly so next moving point that is gases so there are so many example of gases like wicks inhaler if we inhale the wicks that will produce some sensation that will decongestion effect produced by that particular drug or nasal decongestion mucus which is already stick in my nose cavity in a spinal cavity will get thicken and i will feel easy in breathing next one is solubility is that particular drug is soluble in water or not if that particular drug is soluble in oil or not that depend the selection criteria this is gelosyl this is water soluble after some time it will dissolve in water but what about if i place the gelosyl in a uh, in a oil that will not soluble so the selection criteria also based on the solubility parameter now next one is stability if i am taking any sensitive drug which is acid sensitive what will happen the drug will goes through my esophageal route and is finally will be pop up on the stomach if there is acid in my stomach so that acid will destroy that particular drug if that drug is acid labile so this is not proper selection of route of admission so i have to give this drug via the other route i am iv topical or any suitable parameter accordingly next one is ph that is a important parameter there are so many concept which i am not going to discuss in this video i will start it in metabolism cases so if the drug is acidic 
and the content will be acidic then you will know after some time what will happen if the drug is basic and the content is acid you will know it what will happen in the next class for us for example in case of anti coated drug like right? lenitidine that drug is coated with the anti coated that will allow that particular drug to not to dissolve in acid medium that will reach the drug to the uh, intestine in basic medium so these are very important factor to be considered while selecting proper route of drug administration likewise irritability if that particular drug are very irritative by oral route then i should go for any other route of drug administration if the drug particular applying on the topical of my hand so that is causing irritation so we have to find out any other alternative for that particular drug all this parameter govern the selection criteria for any drug for drug of for route of drug administration now next point says a uh, site of desirable action at which site i want action this is a pain bomb i am feeling headache so i should apply this bomb over the forehead or over the my palm of hand is it possible i am having headache and i am applying this cream or lotion or any balm on the palm of my hand is it possible no it is not possible and it had not to be happened so the selection of doses form along with their route of administration depends upon the site where you want to action of that particular drug so if i am having any infection over that particular part then i should apply that cream or lotion or solution on over the particular part so this will act faster as compared to the tablet as compared to the inhalation route or any other route so that is important criteria too that is desirable site of action this is important you should remember this either i am willing to have the uh, generalized effect or any local effect if i am having vomiting then i should take tablet which goes through the stomach which reach to the systemic circulation and produce desirable effect so this is called generalized effect overall effect on my complete body but i am having pain i am having infection in the particular part there is no need to go for all different types of route of drug administration just apply that cream balm or lotion or any other thing over the problem over the affected part of your body coming to the next one desirable bioavailability now what is the meaning of this bioavailability bioavailability means the rate and extent of drug absorbed from its doses form and that reach to the systemic circulation so that it may produce its desirable effect i said desirable because undesirable effect is already associated with that effect so this is called bioavailability bioavailability is one of the most important parameter to select a proper route of drug administration if i am taking any drug via oral route that will go for disintegration dissolution then absorption then it will produce effect as i shown you in the demo and i'm going to explain this also in the whiteboard section so you can see that tablet is still in this particular tablet form the slightly the thickness has been changed but still it is available as such so this will delay in their action but the solution is already dissolved so this will produce faster effect so oral route of drug administration will never give 100% bio availability there is only one route of drug administration that is intravenous which will give you completely 100% bio availability that is important parameter and we have to study this bio availability in very detail coming to the next one there is effect of hcl and first pass metabolism what is this hcl mean that is hydrochloric acid or we can say this is a digestive juice available in our stomach so if drug is very sensitive for this hcl that drug will destroy after just after reaching to the stomach but if drug is suitable for that particular acid condition like antacid antacid need acidic medium so antacid can be given by oral route of drug administration but those drug which are very sensitive to the acid should not be given by oral route of administration now next one is important one that is first pass metabolism what is first pass metabolism if i am taking any drug this is specifically applicable for the oral route of drug administration only if i am taking any drug via oral route that drug will go to the stomach then after then after from reaching to the stomach via portal vein that will reach to the liver liver is the main site of metabolism there are other site too but liver is a king of that metabolism site so that drug will reach to the liver and that get metabolized after getting metabolized that metabolite will be having lesser effect as compared to is main main drug form so that first pass effect will reduce the efficacy of drug somehow we will see the complete description of metabolism coming in coming videos next one is need of rapidity how 
much time you have to obtain that particular drug if the problem is okay just slightly headache no need to worry about it then you go for the normal traditional method but in case of emergency severe accident severe trauma you need quick effect and to achieve the quick effect you cannot rely upon the oral route you cannot rely upon the topical route you have to give the drug via intravenous or intramuscular basically intravenous will be most suitable for that condition so this is the reason either the condition is normal if it is normal just okay no need to worry about go for normal and traditional route of drug admission but in case of emergency you have to, to give this drug only via intravenous route of administration now coming to the next point that is saying accuracy of doses required this is another important how accuracy of dose is important for the particular disease or disorder like in this case this is a slight a single tablet a single tablet means unit doses form just take a single tablet that's it no need to measure the drug no amount but in case of this syrup how will you measure will you take spoon as every spoon may be variable in case of inhalation nasal inhalation how will you get a proper amount of that particular drug so selection is also based on the depending on the doses required accuracy of doses required coming to the next one that is condition of patient then in patient related factor if patient is in unconscious state how he or she will swallow the tablet how will respond for that particular tablet and if she or he is continuously vomiting now that drug which is taken by oral route will soon get eliminated with the vomiting conditions so these are basic limitation i can say now coming to the expression point of view this is diagram i am going to explain in a short so this is stomach and this red circle is representing that solid doses form like tablet so that tablet go to the stomach after reaching to the stomach with the help of different fluid which are already available in the stomach that will get disintegrated that di is represent for disintegrate disintegration means conversion of solid into smaller particle that's called disintegration and disappearance of that particular solid in given liquid media is called dissolution so only after disintegration and dissolution that solid drug will go to the small intestine in small intestine that will be available for the absorption in blood vessel that is called root of drug administration so it is taking too many steps to go through the blood but in case of iv as you can see here that drug will directly go to the blood vessels and it not need to go for this disintegration and dissolution in case of skin you have to apply that particular drug on over the skin in case of rectal root the drug will affect on this particular local part so there are so many factor which can affect the selection of drug for with suitable root of drug administration at the last i would like to classify the different root of drug admission in very short in the next video of the root of drug admission we will see it in a detail man first local that will act on restricted part any particular part only any limitation area only so the example under local are topical like jandu balm or any other balm or different types of cream like this is a cream this is a anti scar cream i have to apply this cream over this particular surface only next one is deeper tissue that drug which reach to a little bit deeper deeper tissue the next one is a systemic route systemic means that will reach to the blood via different different pathway but that will reach to the blood in a little bit higher proportion example under systemic is oral oral is also considered as a anterior next one is sublingual just below the tongue the buccal beside your cheek the next one is rectal under the rectal cavity and inhalational that has to be inhaled and the nasal inhalation and nasal comes together in most of the case they combine togetherly next one is parenteral that will reach to the systemic circulation directly i can say that is iv im subcutaneous and at the last that is intradermal root of drug administration so this are basic root of drug administration there are few more or few more root of drug administration like vaginal and many other so we will see one by one in upcoming videos so friend i think this is enough for today's lecture let me show you again that was a tablet and the tablet is still in that tablet form so it is taking too much time to get disintegrate and to dissolve so how can you expect the fast and rapid effect by any kind of this this kind of tablet it is not possible so there are some limitation of every doses form which is our next topic so thank you very much for watching this video that's all for the day if you want to take a screenshot of this whiteboard section then you may have it after some time i will get away from this whiteboard section please give us your feedback in comment box option at the last again thank you very much and namaskar please do take care of yourself thank you